welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In the last lecture, we discussed what is a signal and some of its daily life examples. We have learned in the last video that a signal is a function of one or more independent variables like time, position, distance, temperature, etc. That has some information about the phenomena or system that generated it. If a signal depends only on one variable, it is called one-dimensional signal. But when it depends on more than one variables, it is considered as a multidimensional signal. So let me draw this. Signal classification based on number of variables okay so we can divide the signals based on number of variables into two parts one dimensional and multi dimensional as i already told you one dimensional means one variable and multi dimensional means two or more variables two or more variables okay so these are the two types and <clears throat> now we will classify the signal on the basis of time domain on the basis of time axis that is we can say that based on the nature of the signals in time domain signals can be broadly classified into two types continuous time signals and discrete time signals so again we have uh, another classification of signals like signals may be of two types again one is continuous time also in short we can say CT and another is discrete time D T. Okay, I think it's clear to you. So these are the two types. So now let me define and explain you what are the continuous signals and discrete signals. So let's write the definition. continuous time signal okay so what is a continuous time signal continuous time signal is a signal that is defined 
continuously with time variable is called as continuous time signal so let me write the definition A signal a signal that is in that is defined continuously with time variable okay is called continuous time signal i think it's clear to you now let me give an example to explain it I have uh, drawn a signal which is you can see is continuous in time this is an example as you can see <clears throat> this is the time axis and this is the graph so it has some amplitude or value at every time instant in any fixed interval as you can see here let me draw some values like uh, look at this axis if uh, I talk about this interval then there are there is some value you take any time instant over this time axis and you will get some value corresponding to that time interval so you have a value for each time interval so it uh, can be called as continuous in time so it is a continuous time uh, there are some examples uh, in daily life of uh, continuous time signals are like uh, audio signals these audio signals are continuous time signals okay. audio signals are continuous time signals where sound pressure variations are converted into voltage or current variations with the help of a microphone got it now we will see discrete time signals discrete time signals discrete time right so what is a discrete time signal let's define it these signals are the signals that are defined only at discrete times discrete time signals are not continuous in time like continuous time signals let me write the definition
these signals are the signals that are defined only at discrete times and these signals are not continuous in time these are not continuous in time that's why they are called as discrete time signals <clears throat> so now let's uh, understand it with the help of a graph how a discrete time signal looks like <clears throat> so here i am drawing a graph of a discrete time signal this is the axis let's use another color to draw the values I am taking any random values here this is minus 1 let's call this height as 1 and this is 2 <coughs> sorry mm. let me draw some negative values too this is on time axis minus 1 and its height is equal to 4 let it is minus 3 or well, you can have any values so as you can see and uh, let me tell you here n is an integer n is an integer do you know what is an integer? Integers start from minus infinity to like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. This is a set of integer values. So we can say that here the function is defined only at n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 these are the 1 2 3 4 it has been defined only at this is 0 0 value 4 1 it has value 1 at 2 it has value 2 and at 3 it has value 1 at 4 minus 1 and so on so it has been defined only at n is n equals to 0 1 2 3 4 on positive side and on negative side at minus 1 and minus 2 these are on negative side but the values are missing between 1 and 2 there is no value between 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 3 and 4 0 and minus 1 minus 1 and minus 2 these values are missing <clears throat> because uh, since it is a discrete uh, kind of signal so, and not uh, we can say it is not continuous in time so it has no value uh, in continuous time uh, it has uh, it doesn't have all the values at every time instant only at the integer values it has values so this is 
the example of a discrete signal so hence it is defined only on integer values that is only on discrete time instance uh, we can say uh, some examples of discrete time signals are maybe like money transactions in any bank account okay transactions are discrete in nature not continuous so this is an example of discrete time so this was all about continuous time and discrete time signals to get uh, more updates please subscribe my channel engineering made easy till then bye bye